Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are looking to outflank the royal family as they target the younger generations with meaningful work, an American PR expert has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who stepped back from their royal duties and moved to the U.S. in 2020, are on a mission to be seen as the members of the firm who care, commentator Eric Schiffer suggested as he analyzed what he called the couple's relatability strategy. Mr. Schiffer said, they, Harry and Meghan, are going to own the hearts and minds of Gen Z and millennials. They will be seen as the real royals, who care. They are trying to outflank the royal family. They are trying to do the work of what the royal family typically is about, which is about optimizing society and helping to make society that much more uplifted in many ways, whether that is emotional or culturally. Harry, 37, and Meghan, 40, live in California with their two children, two-year-old Archie and Lilibet, who celebrates her first birthday in June. From Montecito, where they enjoy more privacy than they used to back in the UK, the pair have launched projects that Mr. Schiffer believe have been carefully chosen to target Gen Z and millennials. Their Spotify and Netflix media deals, he thinks, are ideal to tighten their relationships with Gen Z and millennials, something that happens whenever you can take the mask of celebrity off, especially if you are positioned at a high level and are able to show your heart and speak about things that are true for you authentically. He added, they have zeroed in on the future of the monarchy which is the youth of the world. Earlier this month, the Sussexes spoke at a virtual panel with the Duke's company Better Up, where he once again opened up about his mental health. He said, I too experience burnout. I'm burning the candle at both ends and that's like, boom. Some days are great, some days are really hard. I know I need to meditate every single day. Everyone has such busy days. If you have 15 minutes of white space, I allow half an hour or 45 minutes in the morning when one kid has gone to school and the other is having a nap. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, appear to have embarked on a new course in recent weeks as they seek to define their lives in America by adding political issues and influence into their established interests of being royal humanitarians embracing U.S. celebrity norms of wealth, fame and talk shows. First it was Meghan, cold calling two Republican U.S. Senators, West Virginia's Shelley Moore Capito and Susan Collins of Maine to urge them to support paid family leave provisions in Joe Biden's languishing Build Back Better legislation. She called me on my private line and she introduced herself as the Duchess of Sussex, which is kind of ironic, Collins told Politico. Collins added, perhaps a little disappointingly for fans of the royals, that she herself was more interested in what the people of Maine are telling me than members of British royalty. Meghan then appeared at a New York Times forum to press the issue. This is one of those issues that is not red or blue she said, underscoring an earlier paid leave for all letter in which she stressed that she was not an elected official, and I'm not a politician. She was, she wrote, an engaged citizen and a parent. The targets of her letter? The Democrat bigwigs Nancy Pelosi, the House Speaker, and the Senate Majority Leader, Chuck Schumer. She has also reached out to the New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand to offer her help around paid leave campaigning. Her husband, Harry, has also taken his turn informing a panel at a tech forum last week that he had warned the Twitter CEO, Jack Dorsey, that his platform was allowing a coup to be staged the day before the attack on the Capitol on 6 January by a Trump-supporting mob. By midweek the couple were back on familiar ground, paying tribute to armed forces on Veterans Day and helping to raise awareness of returning veterans' mental health.